On your marks. So a clean start from the boys here in the men's G 1500 metres. Seemed to be a bit of an issue tonight. I think we've had two races where they've had to stand up. A few nervous boys quite literally towing the line. Pretty decent field here. From station one, Matthew Shapizzi. Station two, Joshua Augustinus. Three, Matthew Goff. In four, we've got Tommy Clucko. In five, Chris Winter. In six, Benjamin Purser. Seven, Nathan Munro. Eight, Tom Worsling. Nine, Murray Labas. And ten, Michael Johnson. Leading us out. 300 metres into this race. Well, Chris. Oh, in the sun, he's they've got to be a second or two. <laughs> no half tights out there, though. No. They're Missed all, opportunities from many sold, athletes. They're all sold out after the last race. <laughs> Munro coming on the inside of Matthew Goff of Mentone, Benjamin Purser and Joshua Augustinus are still the top two athletes in this field. The rest of the field is quite tightly packed. We see Michael Johnson just falling off the back, the athlete from uh, Richmond Athletics and Chris Winter from Glen Huntley who we've already mentioned. As for the rest of the field, it's anyone's race from this point we have been um, mistaken a few times already tonight for not focusing on everyone in the field and missed some late charges but still the top three Augustinus uh, Persa and Munro has been for the last few hundred metres they're really bunching up here I think we're going to be on for a great last 500 metres the boys just coming around the bend now they think leading into that bell lap they always get a little bit edgy People start to make their move. They want to get in position. So a couple of old Scotch teammates in Tommy Clucko and Tom Worsening are right in that mix as well. It's going to be anyone's race here from Bendigo. Looks like those two boys you just mentioned, Mick, they might be working together off the front. So the Scotch boys making the decisive moves here. APS, one, two, three, four, with old Severians thrown in the mix there as well. That was a pretty decisive move just before the bell here. Looks like it's going to pay off. Yeah, Munro, really smart race. He sort of settled in. He wasn't in front until... What, about one and a half to two laps into this race. Just sort of sat in the top few, waited, and now he's uh, absolutely charging home in this last lap. And he's really kicked it down here, hasn't he? That is an outstanding win. He's run right through the finish line. No sign of fatigue. 4.17, massive PB there for Munro. And for the rest of this field as well, coming in at 4.22. Bucko. Matthew Goff and Murray Lovas, Chris Winter and Michael Johnson just to round out that field of 10. That was an outstanding move. And PBs for, the, PBs for the first uh, five athletes there as well, I reckon.